Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to take an image and engrave it into a piece of wood as seen on my screen and trying to achieve the best high quality possible. Okay, so bear with me. Let's go to Lightburn and open Lightburn and show you the details I did. Okay, I am using a 50 wall laser engraver from Omtech. Okay, so it depends on your machine. You might need a different speed setting, different power setting. So let's go into it. So as you can see in Lightburn, I do have a camera on the top. I'm going to open actually Lightburn here. And I'm going to, I think the camera is somewhere over here if you can see it. I'm going to maybe load a file in here. See, I do have a file already that has already been set up but I can show you uh, for example so it's here this is the file I have okay this is the file I'm gonna load it's basically San George this after this burn I will be given this a gift for San George Church in Michigan so I'm actually putting a picture of San George and then I'm gonna put lines in here and frame and then I will cut this around okay now uh, I already resized this guy to example to this here but I will show you if you wanna engrave an actual image what step you need to do okay so bear with me I'm gonna show you step by step what you gotta do I'm gonna turn off the machine because it's nosy and I kinda Ooh. there's a lot of nose of air compressor so let me pause it and continue and tell you what I did to get this picture. If I, if you zoom in, you can see is all dots in here. Basically, the picture is all made out of dots. Okay, uh, this is the format that you're gonna be engraving this picture on. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I translate this picture to all dots. Okay, and then we'll go from there. So. Now we're going to go and visit a website called image-r.com, okay? Basically, this is for a laser. They developed this website. Uh, I did a video before on this website, too. It was a different uh, background, different shape, and stuff like that. I guess they developed this website to uh, change the format from an image to a dots. That way, you can uh, engrave with lasers. So, cool, very nice website, okay? They do have advertising, I guess that's how, much, that's how they get paid, just to show some advertising on their website from Google. Uh, click uploads in the bottom, you're going to scroll down and then choose your picture. Now I'm choosing this uh, San George picture, it's not the same pictures that you guys are seeing because the one I did is a special picture, I developed it basically, uh, I changed some stuff to it and I did a Photoshop, I removed all the background, but it's a similar picture to this guy. But it's totally different, okay? And then uh, I just don't want like, a lot of background in my image that takes a lot of long time to burn, okay? So after doing this, after you open this, you're gonna see it. Now there's options in here. You can crop your picture basically. If it's too big, you can make it smaller and stuff like that. I'm not gonna change none of these. I'm gonna click cancel. You can resize your picture here, the size you want. You can put it by pixel or by inches, millimeter. Um, you can add text we all can add text on light burn and then material okay now here it depends on your laser so co2 laser they use they recommend you to use this but again it depends on your lens how curl is your lens how detailed your lens can put just for example I'm gonna show you uh, co2 we're gonna pick wood that's the material we're engraving on right now we're gonna put wood and then we're gonna click OK now on the right hand side, if you scroll down, on the right hand side now you see an image. So basically it took this image and made it all that. You could just zoom in to it too and you can see what I'm talking about, okay? Now the more your image is detailed, the more uh, you can actually engrave. So the pixel on your, it all depends on the pixel on your image, okay? So if your pixel on your image is better you'll have more details so you can see this picture this image did not have good pixels so it kind of came in poor so this is just example of showing you what we're doing 
and how stuff it looks okay so I gotta just now go back in here okay so then you can download the pictures you click download and then now Lightburn does that I can does like okay that P, uh, P, uh, JPG okay it's lighter uh, JPG is lighter than the other one so I always, I always download JPG now yes PNG is a little bit more high quality but that will do it okay nothing will download you don't have to click on nothing just click cancel on the ad and on the left hand side you download the picture so if I open this picture right now this is the picture and you can see if I zoom into it it's all about dots and lines okay so again depends on the quality of the picture that's why I told you the other one I made in Photoshop and basically the same but I just took all the background from here I didn't want none of the backgrounds so my laser will not work hard go back and forth for no reason just to give me a small dot okay so we're gonna go back to light burn right now and back to light burn okay and you can see this is you upload your image basically to light burn and then you line it up you should know how to use light burn by this time okay and then uh, I just did actually groove I designed this two again and then uh, this, the red one is going to be the cut and the black one is just going to be engraved so I set my engraving okay to uh, three th uh, 350 millimeter per second and 20 I don't need it that much deep okay and it's, it's good enough for engraving okay and this is the actual image it was I'm going to turn it off okay and then we're just going to do sorry this is the image no that's not I thought that was the actual image so this is the image you could turn it off just to see where it's gonna look how it's gonna look so I'm not hitting none of those lines okay and then we're gonna just turn it back on okay and then uh, air assist is on we're gonna turn our machine and I'm gonna close this cover and I'm gonna give you a better look on the video how is engraving I'm gonna speed it up for you guys all the way through and see how is that gonna look at the end okay one more thing I want my laser to go this direction it'll be saving time instead of going this direction okay because now I have more actually travel this thing instead of going this direction let's see how what I'm talking about and right now as of right now I am going this direction as you see it's taking me 38 minutes to make this picture Okay, we can click OK. If I change my direction of image, I did 90. If I go to zero, okay, uh, let's see how much time is that gonna take. It's gonna take 44 minutes. So that that little different makes a lot of different actually. Maybe if I can play around, I'm not sure. Maybe under lines. Maybe no, that's a line. Um, I think that's fine. Okay, so I'll just change this to 90. That's how I want it. I want the laser to go this way, that way. Okay, and then if I look, it was 44 minutes. Now it should save us some time. Now it's 38 minutes. So I just saved about six minutes of engraving. Okay, and plus my engraving is gonna look better when it goes this direction. It is kind of dark, it's showing you, but if you actually look at details this one have a lot of details in there okay so we'll see okay yeah uh, we're gonna click OK and uh, we're gonna start the engraving this here I just give you a better angle of the camera and I'm gonna click start on the engraving and then we'll go from there you can see the laser it is on the torch you see the laser is kind of engraving right now it's about 35 minutes we're gonna fast forward this guy right now
So here, actually, the image done engraving. I'm going to open the cover right now, and I'm just going to be dusting a little bit with just a, br a small brush. Uh, I like to do this just to clean up all the dust and stuff like that. Uh, you can wipe the picture down, but I like to just to dust it always, and then wipe it down. You can little do a little small sanding, a thin like thin layer of sanding, but you can see uh, without nothing, the picture came out amazing. Now all this it depends again uh, what type of laser you're using, what machine, and the most important is the quality of the picture. Okay. I am using the Omtech 50 wall laser. Okay, it does amazing stuff so far. Um, here's the picture. For example, if you like it, please leave a like or leave a comment if you need any help. Uh, thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day.